delivered by the U.S. Postal Service. You're pregnant. You have personal questions. Who do you turn to? Would you believe the Internet? They're online moms. Coming up next on Fox 11 News. Joys and heartaches of being a new parent, and they're doing it in a most unusual way. Susan Hirasuna says the backyard fence is being replaced by the Internet. <laughs> Diapering a baby hasn't changed much through the ages, but thanks to this, you want to help me type, huh? motherhood may be just a little bit easier now. Moms all over the world are entering cyberspace to get what their moms got across the back fence. Advice? community a bond we've been talking about ways to lose our pregnancy weight when deborah kritzman got pregnant she joined an internet group just for those giving birth in july the same month she was due and i immediately had people who were throwing up just like i was we were sharing our stories on hey have you tried the crackers hey, have you tried the stardust candies hey, have you tried um you know, the dead soda that you've left out and let it get stale. From Belgium, South America, Canada, Japan, and all over the U.S., 150 July moms and a couple dads found in the virtual world what they couldn't find in their world. I have had very few friends that have small children right now, especially since I'm an older mom. And um, I like the moms that are on the Internet because they tend to be older, like myself, professional women. Most never meet face to face, but don't tell these moms the virtual bond in cyberspace isn't a real one. There's a real sense of community. We're a real tight-knit community, even though we're all from all over the world on our particular July list. I can get online and say, oh God, help me guys, I'm having a horrible day, I'm a horrible mother. And I'll get 50 responses from people saying, you're doing a great job. I've gone through the same exact thing today. My baby hasn't stopped crying in three days. <laughs> the chemistry between them was instant. The same was true for Claire and Tristan, future cyber playmates. Oh, he just loved that baby. The ease of the internet and an hour's commute will likely keep these two women chatting online rather than in person. Because unlike the coffee clatch of old, the internet is always available and just steps away. I can go online at any time of day or night. I get a lot of encouragement and a lot of good advice. In Los Angeles, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.